So contrary to popular myth, the Great Depression was not caused by the stock market collapse. The stock market collapse was kind of a symptom that showed the world that the United States was in a depression. So what were the actual causes of the Great Depression? The first is overproduction. Remember, this is the time of mass production and factories making lots and lots of things. And they needed people constantly purchasing these items. Otherwise, they would just have warehouses filling up with stuff like toasters and refrigerators and cars. So overproduction led to a lot of problems, especially on the farms. Um, the, the irony of the Great Depression is that people were not lacking for things. It was that they were kind of being flooded with so much stuff. The other problem is underconsumption, meaning people weren't buying enough. Well, why weren't people buying enough? You got to look back in the 1920s, all of that buying on credit of the early 20s, well, now people are seeing that the bills are coming due and they don't have enough savings to, to keep purchasing things. So they had bought too much early on and now they, towards the end of the decade, they had stopped buying things. So buying on credit and the, all the bills coming due. The other thing was that factory owners and uh, business owners weren't paying livable wages. When the stock market crashed, two thirds of families were living at the poverty level. They were making just enough to survive, which means they didn't have enough to purchase all of the stuff that was being overproduced. And then we already mentioned the struggling farmers, right? Um, farmers, about 25% of American farmers lost their farms because of foreclosure or tax liens, even prior to the Great Depression. The government also plays a role. Once the stock market crashed, uh, the United States government um, took steps that actually worsened the depression. The first thing is that they increased the tariff. Remember, a tariff is a tax on imported goods that tries to protect American industry. And that makes a lot of sense back in Hamilton's day when everybody bought locally. But the problem is that the United States is part of a global economy now. And when the global economy uh, sees that the United States increases its tariff almost to 50 percent, essentially the United States threw up this giant tax wall to make sure that foreign companies couldn't trade in the United States. That's going to lower trade overall. But also it's going to lead to other countries throwing up tariffs against American products, which means they're retaliating against the United States. And what happens is everybody stops trading. And when everybody stops trading, there's nobody to buy all that stuff that's being overproduced, both because they don't have the money and because it's too expensive in their countries. The Federal Reserve, which had been created under the Woodrow Wilson administration, which was designed to control the money supply, also made some drastic mistakes. In the 1920s, they had what's called a loose money supply, which means it was very easy to get loans. And what happened is a lot of rich people used those easy loans not to build their businesses up, but in order to speculate on the stock market. All that buying on margin, for example. So the Federal Reserve saw that they'd made a mistake in the 1920s, and their response when the Depression hit was to tighten the money supply, which means they made it harder to get money. They made it harder for businesses to stay open because they couldn't get loans. So their response to a bad money policy prior to the Depression was to have an even worse money policy after the Depression started. They made it harder for businesses to get loans so that they couldn't stay open. They also made it harder because banks had to close. And when the banks closed, that would often lead to runs on the bank, which means that all the money was taken out. So bank closures occur and millions in savings were lost because this is before something like the FDIC. This is before if the bank closed, you got your money back. All of that money that you had invested in the bank, all that money that you had in your savings account, just gone. In response, the world economy crashes. That Dawes plan, excuse me, that Dawes plan falls apart. Uh, the other economies, because they're not trading because of the tariffs, their economies fall apart and go into shambles. The Great Depression is a worldwide problem, and the United States tried to solve it with uh, internal politics that just made it worse.